Hi there, uh, it's 11.20 UTC, 7.20pm uh, local time here in Treasure Island near St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, I mentioned in my earlier video that I do want to show the setup. So uh, here we have my Lenovo Ultrabook. Um, when I buy a Windows PC these days, I always make sure it's got a solid state drive because they boot up and boot down so much more quickly than mechanical drive. Um, this is a sort of 13.3 inch uh, sort of lightweight uh, hard disk. I think it's 128 gigs, so it's not very big, but um, perfect for traveling. Um, and I'm running SDR Uno again with the uh, SDR Play RSP1A. So uh, that's the front end. Um, and then. That's the RSP1A, and then we have the Benito Mega Active MA305. That's the coaxial power inserter, and I run that from this USB power brick that Benito kindly supplied me. Um, I'm also using their GI300 galvanic isolator, which is the device here. Uh, it, this is brilliant. So I've tested setup with and without it and it saves 15 decibels of noise so uh, my signal to noise is 15 dBs better uh, with this uh, in line than without it uh, brilliant you have to be careful with galvanic isolators you've got to set set them up so as they're as close to the receiver as possible because essentially you don't have any shielding uh, on the last part on the path to the receiver so there's this very short coaxial cable which isn't really providing any shielding but um, at the other end it's doing a superb job so uh, it's saving me uh, 15 dBs of noise um, and then we have the actual antenna there it is I need to buy some tape or something to tape it at some point vertically but it's just kind of there uh, lodged on the balcony so that's it um, so this is the setup. I took most of this uh, in my rucksack um, rather than put it in my checked in luggage because I was afraid that if my luggage got lost that would be it. Uh, I had a full set of cables with me. I didn't. I, I put the USB cables uh, uh, into my checked in bag because I figured that they can be bought anywhere. Just go to Walmart and buy them. So, uh, but as you, it all packed into basically a very small box, smaller than a kind of Tupperware lunchbox as I mentioned in my uh, earlier video. Uh, I've also got the superb XH Data DA808 with me, um, which I haven't really used yet. Uh, and so that's basically it. Um, so I'm here now, sat on the balcony, um, and just having a tune around. So uh, I'm hoping that the lower noise levels out here than on the other side of the apartment indoors, that um, I'll pick up some uh, some nice VX. So um, yeah, all in all, it's a pretty powerful setup. I mean, you know, you guys know that my views on the RSP1A, you know, it's a tenth of the cost of an ELAD and, you know, 95% of the performance, uh, superb. Uh, and that coupled to the MA305 and the GI300, um, it's a sort of very powerful receiving setup and a very small form factor. Uh, I'm super impressed with it, so yeah, the sun's just gone down uh, behind the building, the hotel in front of me there, so uh, I'm going to sit around for the next few hours and see what I can hear, there's the Gulf of Mexico, all in all, a nice place to be. Um, I'll also check out shortwave, um, see if there's anything coming in from South America on the tropical bands and elsewhere. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's the setup. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions about any of this kit, you can uh, leave a comment. Okay. Well, thanks for watching.